I'm not sure why the pitch of that is so weird and low. Anyway, this is a pack from Melange Gel. And uh, this first game is called Bishi Bashi Special. So it's a sort of proto WarioWare. Oh, it's a European game. Uh, this game was released in Europe, so the game is entirely in English. This is PAL region. So uh, I've played a lot of weird PS1 games over the years. I don't think I've played any of these, and I don't even know if I've heard of this one. I'm going to find out in, like a week from now. I've played all of these. But this is Bishi Bashi. Uh, I guess you have a choice of <laughs> hyper or super. <laughs> Um, what happened to your eye? It doesn't look like she's blinking so much as it looks like it was poked out. So, it's a Konami game. And, uh... You have Bishi Bashi together, Bishi Bashi alone. Chat, this fellow... in the top there, next to the bunny girl, kind of looks like an asshole with a face. Like, it just looks like a, a like an asshole on legs. Um, I don't know if- can I do this? Can you do this single player? Set players to one. Um, I got bad news. I can't go back. There was no option for one player. Holy fuck, that was loud. It said Bishi Bashi alone? Oh, that explains it. I'm gonna have to put the limiter on this because that was... That was you, you skipped it. Oh, sorry everybody, I ruined Sunday. Uh, that noise was actually really bad. The the select noise, the, the very loud one. We're gonna bishy bashi alone, together. Okay. Oh! Endurance Bishi Bashi Marathon Challenge. That's fine. Stage one. More dice, dice, more dice. Attention! Ready? Go! It doesn't really tell you what button to press, you just kind of have to figure it out. I mean, it corresponds. What the hell kind of dice is that? That's a fake dice! Fake dice, not real. Vinny, you played this five years ago during a PS1 bootleg segment. I knew that was going to happen. Attention. I don't remember. I have no memory of this. Ready? Go! Do you remember it now? Uh, no. Not really. I guess epilepsy warning. I, I had no idea there would be a flashing white light, you know, between every minigame. Bump into the pins and knock them down. Can you link me to the video where I played this? Not that I don't believe you, I just, I'm curious. If you keep forgetting, that's just infinite content. Remember when they said V's name in Cyberpunk? And I didn't remember that it was Vincent, and it blew my mind twice.
weird PS1 bootlegs. You know what? Yes, I have. I played this. Yep. I mean, different mini games. We're seeing different mini games, I think. Uh, but yeah, that was five years ago. That was uploaded September 28th, 2018. How about that? Man, time flies. But what's hyper bishibashi? Um, shoot the tank. Well, we'll do a couple of these. Maybe I found some new mini games this time. Who knows? Attention! Will you watch the new Wonka movie? No. Ready? Go! The new Wanker movie. <laughs> Willy Wanker. What, what's wrong, chat? So, this is cool. Um, I like that you can play this game like WarioWare. It's just whatever the fuck random shit the developers thought of. Play it. Attention! Ready? Go! This one's weird because the controls are like intentionally fucked up. I guess the best I can say is if you're making a game pack, I understand if you haven't watched literally everything I've ever done, just be aware of, you know, like you can search for some of it. Um, but there's gonna be repeats. No matter what, there's gonna be repeats. <clears throat> and that's okay, because a game like this actually fits perfectly with this quirked up segment, Uncle Launcher. We'll, we'll play a little bit more of it. I'm enjoying it enough that I want to play more. Attention! Shoot the man. I re this one is in the video. There you go. Um, race or fall. It's raining coins, car destroyer, burst the balloon. I mean, you know, from Bishibashi to WarioWare, there's always some kind of muscle men. There's also a game on the Wii called Muscle March that was also uh, lots of muscly, muscly men running through walls and shit. Wow, I blew up the house. Vinny, you're on two-player motor. No, no, this is Bishy Bashi alone. Stay with the rhythm. Building climber. Dodge or die. Artistic ball. I'm sorry to say this. Artistic ball is no longer allowed, chat. Attention. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh! And this is like every day on this dude's walk to work. Every single day. He has to deal with this shit. I was really bad at that one. That one I was not good at. Hyper Bishibashi is the sequel. You're playing the first. We can um, check out Hyper Bishibashi. There's no way to go back to the title screen as far as I can see though.
just gonna reset, which means you get to hear this again. PS1 is haunted slightly, it's fine. Konami, can you make your games load faster? Alright, Hyper Bishibashi. Now, have I played Hyper Bishibashi? I don't, I don't know if I have. Bishibashi alone. Select game. Oh, crazy mode. Beans? What do you mean, beans? With that face? We might need that as an emote. Attention! Oh my god. This is so WarioWare, it hurts. Now, was Bishibashi before WarioWare is my question, because Nintendo might have played that first. It was way before. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, this is an old arcade game series. This is amazing. Burger? I'm just gonna choose the interesting names. Like, this is not particular de particularly descriptive Attention. when it comes to choosing a game, but I, I kinda don't mind. I think it's better that way. Lady, go! Okay. Oh, okay. Mini game concepts are different. I mean, they're different enough games, but there's probably some inspiration. Excuse me. Probably some inspiration. Regardless, this is cool as fuck. Um, I would have loved Bishibashi if I had it growing up, just like I loved Wario. <laughs> Excuse me. That was my throat clearing noise. Perm? Yeah, I don't have any memory of me playing Hyper Bishibashi, so this might be some new- <laughs> Oh boy! Okay. There's input delay, chat. Well, now I know why it's called perm. Uh, I, I, I won. I fucking sucked at it. How many of there? Are... Okay, now it starts to loop. Um, bean. I want. Wait, we did beans. I want to go mouse. I, I just love. It's like one word, and you have to figure out what these are based on one word. Lady, go. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I'm the red mouse. Can a mouse eat a whole sausage? Yeah, probably can. That's a great face. That's a really good face. Attention! Lady! Restroom? <laughs> okay. It's a golden toilet? Perfect ending. Wrong. And is she is she holding a gun? Chat, I feel like there's meme potential for this. This could be a really good like image to just reply to someone on your social media of choice where everyone hates each other. Just post this. Who's different? Oh, 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 oh. Eggplant girl, what? Is that meat? Oh my god, Sundari, eggplant girl. Oh no! That is funny. That is uh, the eggplant. Uh, eggplant girl has some interesting connotations. Munch, Burger Two, building. Wait, is that King Kong? Attention. Chad, I'm very entertained by this game. Oh, this is just bash buttons. All right, Godzilla minus zero has nothing on this. Wow, that was, uh, that was quick. Ha! Puck attack. Attention. That doesn't help. I don't know what that means. Shoot the puck into the enemy goal. Lady. Oh, it's Pong. Ha. Ha. It's true that a starfish makes that noise when you hit into it. Was a twin B reference? I mean, it is Konami. Gal? Attention. Restaurant fever. Press the button where the dish is. Huh. Firework, uh, fishing, horse. Attention. Horse speeder. Oh 
my god, it's... I'm doing very, very poorly. Oh! I just, for some reason, I just could not figure out how to play that fucking game properly. Like, I knew what, what buttons to press, but I had, like, a brain disease playing it. Thank you for play. Thanks for your play. Thanks, thank you, thanks for your play. I want to check out crazy mode, but I want to continue to select games because I saw a couple that seemed interesting. No! Yes or no? Press vertically twice, if same as sample. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! I thought it said vertically. <laughs> Holy shit, he's fast. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Chat, that is a little harder than you'd imagine. Crazy mode. Oh. Attention. Fucking maple story ass looking mushroom. Cake muncher. <laughs> Very similar to the squat cobbler. Juggler panic. Lady. I know, I got this. <laughs> I got second place, chat. No, exactly. I'm doing great. Death conveyor belt? It's just life. No, it's more fun when you don't know how to play the game, chat. That's, that's what I've learned. Also, why is this guy naked? I wind. Player one has wind. Over. Attention. Lady, go. 
Because then you have to, like, circle it, and, and you have to be really good at circling, chat. You gotta be really good at circling. I was using the D-pad. Magician girl. Oh. Oh, she's so tall. Which sailor is this? Sailor Goon. <laughs> Attention. Chat, there's no way to exit this game once started. You have to, like, actually fail, I think, then you can go back to the menu. All right. Attention. You know what? It's fine because we have more games to get to. This is this is a good one. Th there's a lot of wacky stuff in here, chat. You can gulp sushi. There's so much variety. It's very varietous. But next is Bunmei Koro Koro game Egg. Press circle to roll your egg and create towns and cities. Claim the most territory to win. Yeah. That's what it says. Hmm. I like reading about a game before I play it. And still not knowing what the game is. This feels, like, intense, like there's a drama to this intro. Kojima could have showed up to the Game Awards, shown this, and just walked off stage. It is a time of civil war. The rebels have decided to strike back against the evil empire helmed by Darth Vader. The blockade runner has escaped the Death Star's grasp, but for how long? Egg. Like a fucking church bell? It is a game of birth and death. It is egg. Each egg has different, like, properties. What? I don't know, chat. I apparently 30% egg. Oh, this looks like populous. What? What do you mean? Look 
Okay. Player two. Chat, this really kind of does look like Egg Populous. It, it's kind of slow. But it's kind of cool in a way. world domination based on egg physics. I mean, it only makes slightly less sense than real life. The music is awesome. Chat, even the wind ambience? Oh, you got stuck in the mountains! Even the wind ambience is very populous. What happens if I egg back to here? Not much. Oh wait, well, hang on a minute. I think if you egg over certain areas, you develop them more. Dave, it's time for you to remake this in uh, modern video gaming. The time has come. However, instead of egg, marble. So wait, does it actually enclose the previous area? It might fill in. Yeah, it fills in. And then it becomes more developed. Chad, I think I really like this. happening. Something's different. Something's different. Low? What's that? What is that thing? Whoa, I think I fucked up. I used the wrong thing. It was some kind of power. What? What is that? I think you did a move without building. I think if you go over your land with that, something different happens. I set up a bunch of, like, power plants or something. Maybe power lines or s I don't know. Secure the water. Those block their egg. Some weird noises happening. Chad, this game is fucking cool. But again, as as a youngin, I love Populous. Every couple of years I want to play Populous again. Oh shit, egg is cracked. Why is egg cracked? I guess if you knock into shit enough. My egg is not cracked. This egg is cracked. It's not scrambled. Not over easy. Okay. Uh, well, we've learned a valuable and important lesson today about water. I just wish the flow of the game was faster, because, like, there's a lot of unnecessary, like, 
just nothing happening. Alright, okay, we know. It's fine. And because of the egg physics, you don't actually always end up where you intend to. The egg tends to roll where it may. Chat, I'm gonna try to go into the enemy egg zone. So I also have, we're, we're saving up god powers. Oh, I have w water now, hang on. I don't want to use it just yet. I think I have to get closer. Oh, my egg is breaking now too. It's okay now. Ooh. Maybe it's hatching? I mean, it could. Could be. So I selected the, the, the wave power up. Oh. Huh. Okay. I don't think it was that great. I mean, I, I didn't use it in the middle of the Red Egg City, but... Hold down L2, it may speed up the game. Oh, it does! Thank you, Dave. Oh! Someone did a speed run of this game? Of course. Well, now I have no complaints. The game is perfect, because you can speed it up a little bit. What happens now? I've closed in on the egg, on the red egg. Did I kill the red egg? No, it didn't fully enclose. Red egg has a nuke option. I hit the thing again. This game's world record is an hour and three minutes. Yo, what is going on? The egg is... Oh, it's turned into a, a, a spaceship. Or it's, a, it's like a, an egg building. Is it a nuke? Is it becoming a nuke? I regret going into the enemy zone. can't roll over some of the red stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. Can't really. I can't take his shit, as far as I'm aware. Trying to save up for my final god powers. What? What? The buildings are spinning. What the fuck is this game? Oh, he can roll over my shit. Kinda. I have this. I'm gonna try it. I don't know what it does, but... Oh. I, I may have, um... ...caused more damage to myself than, than Red Egg. Okay, I, I have more percentage, it seems. What if I hit into the egg? Not really anything worth... Uh, I crack a lot, that's what happens. I will say, I, I kind of think I really like this, and would play if you need to use the move power to run them over like you were thinking, huh? I, I think I would play more of this. What was that? Was there Flying Mothman? It's like a harpy or something. It's like the Price Master, but in video game form. The music is a little price mastery, yes. Everything is for sale! One hundred thousand dollars! The egg be shaking. It's like a harpy. <laughs> oh, I got all of that, son. Yeah. Yeah. You can kind of like roll over the enemy, but then in order to capture it for yourself, you also have to go over it, I think, a another time. What's going on with the fucking sand over there? Shit is real weird, chat. It's real weird. Also, I hope you don't mind I get stuck on this game for a little while because it's actually a really fun concept. I have this. Actually destroyed some of my own shit by doing that. I had to actually nuke the, the middle of, of that area, and I didn't. Oh, 
Hoo-ha! I kind of want to eventually read more about this game and find out, like, the intricacies of what everything is. I didn't quite want to go exactly that way, but that's alright. It's just egg. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? Do that. I egg rolled in a slightly not great. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to turn into an egg building now. you land in your territory, you can heal. Motherfucker. Splitting right through my, my fucking territory. Should be a decent capture, right? It's not bad. He's also doing that shit. over your own territory makes it harder for them to capture. Well, how do you win? What's a win condition? Thirty percent? How do I find out what percent I'm at? Tells you after every turn. Yeah, I saw that, but it didn't, um, it hasn't been. Status danger. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! I mean, yeah, you can see the, the fucking towns are becoming more technologically advanced. Every time you roll over your own stuff. Okay, we're gonna capture the area down south and win. And then I can move on to the next game. But I will say, this game is great. And there's a random element to it, by the way the egg kind of turns. Which is cool. Ah, oh, man, I didn't connect.
that connect a little bit more. Still need to roll to the east. I think, did I win? Complete. What was that noise? Is that my controller? So that's just stage one. Um, we're gonna move on to the next game, but I like Egg Game. I think it's real cool. Check out the manufacturer's description someone translated. Egg is a strategy game about uh, in which the player has to move, maneuver an egg through mazes and obstacles, with the end game being full development from embryonic type life form to offspring. Manufacturer's description, but I'm a simple, profound, full games for light users. Although not as flashy, get length play instead. Competition is hot doctor. Can be played simultaneously from one up to four people. Mission mode, which is described with easy to understand system of egg, the fun. The fun. All right, uh, next game. Card Captor Sakura. Clow Card Magic. An action puzzle game based on Clamp's classic Magical Girl series. Move with the control pad and get rid of cards in the field, shooting some of your own. Okay. I thought it said clown cards. And I don't think it said clowns at all. In fact, it just said clow. What's going on? Uh oh. Game not working? Well, chat, I don't know how to make this work. Because it's just, like, a black screen. Um, maybe it's a display option. I don't really know what it is. OpenGL. Try one more time. Switch BIOS? How do you do that in BizHawk? Half sword time. We'll just play half sword for the next two hours. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, I imported these games from Japan just for this one segment. Absolutely. Firmware. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't see. I have the BIOS installed. I don't know if there's a way to switch the BIOS, but. It doesn't look like this one's working. I could try a different thing. Give me one second here, chat. Just crashes. EPSXE. All right. Um... Maybe there's a better way to do this, but I don't know how to do it. I'm sorry. So we're going to move on and hope the next one works. This one's called Cooking Fighter Hail. Use Duck Station. I'll try Duck Station. After this game, we'll go back and I'll try. I forgot I had Duck Station, but I do have it. A lot of people sad that it didn't work. Maybe it'll work in Duck Station. But yeah, this is like cooking, fighting, cooking, hey yo, hey yo, like that kind of thing. I think it's it's probably how H A O, but I think 
Let's go. Hey oh. Just gonna pronounce it like that. Anyway, it starts with Sephiroth in the fire. <laughs> That's how you say it. I knew it. He was saying back in Nibelheim, I was there. I saw what they were doing in that Mako reactor. Well, I was a long way from home. Cooking, cooking. And I was a long haired man with a big fucking sword. Maybe I shouldn't have chose the story mode. No, story mode was the right call. Wow. やっぱりこの鳥料理は絶品だな。ああ、さすが都で聞いたかい。最近。ああ、聞いた聞いた。手段を選ばず。この<笑><笑> I don't know what's happening, chat. It's probably, yeah, exactly. It's probably some very deep story. There's something emotional happening here. I don't know what, but. I don't know how to translate this, but it's probably something like, man, we're really hungry. How come your, your food is uh, so good? And then this dude shows up. Perfectly quaffed anime hair. With a tragic backstory. Oi! Look, look at his face. Compared to the size of his hair and his body. That is that guy I heard of in town. He's a mercenary. ラシャイ。お、お客さん、信号だね。ここに白い髪の女はいるか。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ。くっ
前の妻よっお前は初じめじゃああの男はお前らも料理人なら料理で蹴りをつけたらどうだ Excellent delivery there. I wonder if this guy can make pizza soup. Just clip this out of context. Just do it. It's fine. I guess we'll continue. Oh, there's more story. Okay. Yep, there's more story. I don't know if there's actually game here. There's just lots of, um... There's lots of lore and backstory and, and... Something about a chicken. Dude's choking up on his chicken. Apparently the devs behind this guy have made this. His arm looks a little weird. Does this arm look weird to you? Holy shit. I I'm convinced there's a game in here somewhere. Cooking battle? I, I understood Japanese! Oh. This is what the game looks like? Link? That sounds just like Link. Kiyama is actually Link? It's the same, it's, uh, what's his name? Noriko, what's, um, Nobuyuki Hiyama. Hiyame. No, I thought it was Noriko. What are you supposed to do, even? I don't know, something. I think you have to, like... There's food-related things. Oh. Oh. Well, that just... That just happened! I keep hearing FINISH from Mario Party. Did I lose? This was like the perfect combination of just insanity and not and me not understanding anything. And then, then you add Link on top of it, and it just ties the whole game together really nicely.
料理は力だ<笑>お前もわしの息子ならもっと強くなれプロノは言う料理は力じゃない料理は心だ人を幸せにしようとする心だ If you ever wanted to know what Link would sound like delivering lines, now you know. <laughs> Chat, there's something about some of these animations that just ever so slightly off. Like, his mouth was just too big in a couple frames. And, like, this dude especially just feels wrong. Next is Poochie Carrot. Oh yeah, we still have to try that other one. After Poochie Carrot. This, uh, this is Poochie Carrot. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. We will do the other one on Duck Station, momentarily. Event, Evolution, Entertainment. Present. <laughs> Great start. Taito. There are 12 gems called Secret Stones. That is a crusty image. This is JPEG as fuck. As time passed, the 12 secret gems were collected by 12 characters. When you collect all 12 secret stones, you are permitted a request. Article 12, the Secrets of Mysterious Stone Handbook. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's what this is? Oh, that, that's what this is? It is a diverse cast of anime tropes <laughs> all across the board. <laughs> Poochie Carrot. Again, most certainly saying that wrong. Poochie Carrot. But, you know, if you just switch the letters, you get Poochie Parrot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for story mode again, chat. I know I probably shouldn't, but... Um, you can play... <clears throat> ...as a number of different characters. Including... Hiropon Ricky! I'm gonna go for the typical JRPG uh, main character. Because I am boring. Yeah, they're based on, obviously, the, the names are gems. Hey, shyst. I'm off to collect the gems. Good luck! Arkanoid? Boy, I fucked that up real quick. I thought that was his tongue. I thought he was ripping his tongue out of his mouth. Like, he was so upset at losing, he had to rip his tongue out.
Well, it, it's certainly a game. We've seen this type of game a whole lot. Uh, it seems like there's a couple slimes at the bottom there, so there's some differences. But, um, there's a kind of a Tetris attack slash Pokemon puzzle leak panel de pawn thing going on here for me, at least just because of the characters on the screen. Like, I guess it's also the same for, um, the, uh, Mean Bean. What is the Mean Bean again? I should know that. Poyo. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot the word Poyo. I like Poyo. I almost got good at it a little bit. <laughs> Those dreams were crushed, though. So yeah, it's just an Arkanoid puzzle game with anime personality and a bunch of uh, weird characters. And that seems to be the game. The slimes are the attack method. This game has a special controller. It's laughably silly. <laughs> okay, someone included their Donkey Kong as well, but yes, that is a very silly controller. Apparently, you don't need a whole lot of buttons for this game. Let me have that small thing on your head. That's my Kumi Kumi. Don't stop treating her like a kid. Huh? She your friend? My only friends are the wind and the sun. Wind, son, he's a nutcase. Let me take care of him. Huh. I Really, I mean, the, the difference between the last game and this game, story-wise, is like, just leagues. They're so, so different. The previous game was like, so incredibly overdramatic, and this is very happy-go-lucky and silly. Uh, the game is pretty... fine. I mean, if you like Arkanoid... ...you'll probably enjoy this. I don't hate it. I don't really find myself particularly entertained by it very much. I mean, it's... I'm sure later on it gets more difficult. I always liked the Arkanoid games, like, the, the clones on, like, uh, online that had, like power-ups that would drop, like, so you could shoot the blocks. It made things a little too easy, but it was more fun that way. But yeah, if you actually, if you get rid of, I think, a number of blocks at the same time, or gems at the same time, rather, you, you get your attack. So that is how you fuck with the enemy and send junk blocks to them. So that's cool. Yeah, it's fine. I like it. It's not that bad. It is a fine video game. Um, we can try the duck station now, which is, by the way, if you don't mind me saying chat, duck station might be the best name for an emulator of all time. If Duck Station works very well for this, then I'll just use Duck Station tonight. What about Nesticle? Okay, Nesticle. Nesticle is the best name of any emulator. Duck Station is number two. Someone just said select no. I can't I can't read that. <laughs> this is probably DMCA DMCA. This is Card Captor. Uh so apparently this is based on a magical girl anime from 
people's childhoods. I don't know when exactly. Uh, Clamp's original Magical Girl series. So, yeah. 50 years ago? Oh, shit. Early 90s? That's not 50 years. What, what year are you living in? We have a future chat member. <laughs> oh, Clow Card. It's not Clow Card. It's Clow Card. Okay. This is interesting. It's like a little... It's Guitar Hero Mega Man Battle Network. It says here, um... On easy mode, you can just get rid of any card with any button. On normal mode, you have to match the colors. Okay. Is he shooting pizza? Because it certainly looks like he's shooting pizza from his sword. Oh, okay. I, you know, it, it's not that much of anything, really. I mean, the other difficulty modes probably make this a whole lot more interesting. But on this mode, yeah, you just walk around and press the button. And then you roll card. That's about it. It's certainly a video game. And yet, somehow, I have failed at this video game. Okay. That's fine. This is absolutely nothing like anything that's happened in Card Captor Sakura, says a chat member. It, it is a video game because you get to play it. And as such, the video game is playable. We're going to be sticking with Duck Station. And we're going to move on to the next game, Puppet Zoo Pillamy. Pillamy? Just adjusting some levels. So this is, um, create your own animal chimera abominations and unleash them into the world. Technically, this is an edutainment game and you're supposed to make the correct animals, but where's the fun in that? Has an English option built right in. Perfect. Oh, that sounds human. It sounds quite human. Wow. Hell yeah. Late 90s CG dinosaurs, my kind of game. More, more dinosaurs than Turok 3. There are achievements in Duck Station, that's real weird. Enable achievements. Huh.
Well, that is an intro. Uh, this looks like Kyle's little brother mixed with a rug rat. So I think we're in for a good time. Oh, this is a really early PlayStation game. This is 96. It's not frequently that you get the mono or stereo option right from the beginning of the game. So, this is a different time. Pointy's point. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pygmy Dramino. Call me Pelmy. What's your name? Asshole! Uh Um... What did I spell? Goko? <laughs> hey, Goko, there's a letter here for you. Man, if I chose Goku by accident... I really want to choose Goku. Are you going to read it? Um, no. My name's Polygon. There's something I need to discuss with you. Come to the research lab. Dragonfly catching machine. Music is a little scrotal. I will help you. I don't want to. Uh, why did I choose that? So there's different puppets. Some might call them pocket monsters. Anyway, here's a choice between an electric one and a grass one and a fire one. My name is Dr. Scrote. Uh, if you want to make your own po uh, puppets, here's what you could do. You could combine them, and then the, the parts will come out. Whoa, 3D graphics effects. Early PlayStation. Holy shit. So I feel like we'll we'll learn on the job. Lion, it's all, this is all lion. Choose a vehicle? Huh? Where on the magical mystery tour? It's an invitation. Uh, so make a reservation. Uh, uh. Whoa. All right, chat. So go. Which one's cool?
that's co. That's cool. Okay, so where, where's go? I see. Um, is that Goku? Alright, <laughs> great. Is this okay? Goku's. That's cool and all. I made a lion. It's nice, but uh, I want to make some weird fucked up chimeras. How do you unlock the parts immediately? I want all of the parts so I can make something that hurts to live. Would that be all right? We need a body part. I feel like this game, like, since it's such an early PS1 game also, it just doesn't have a lot of quality of life stuff going on here. It sounded pretty nice, that music. Is that a dead person? Go to the lab and buy parts. Okay. There's a church here. They will need Jesus when the abominations begin to flow freely. Life, I don't know much about that. This looks as much like a laboratory as anything else. I don't know if it is. Yeah. I think it's just kind of random. I don't know why it looks so terrible. I think it's, yeah, it's a little gotcha. It's, it's like gotcha body parts. Do you want more? Do you want some more? Do you want some more? I'm just going to keep buying parts. Just three, four more times. He's already addicted. I Listen, I don't even want to know what these parts look like until they're on an animal. Got, oh, okay, so we got hog. We can make a hogophant. One more, chat, one more. Press tab to unlock frames. Oh, hell yeah, was that like a penguin? Yeah. I don't think you can carry that much. Oh, that would have made life a lot easier if I saw that chat message earlier.
I'm assuming this is where you make them. I just want to fight them. I don't know if you can fight them. Like, I, I know you can make them, but can you fight them? Choose what to take with you. I want to, I want to take all of it. This is so confusing, chat. This is really confusing. Three, two, one. Wait, was that like NASA? Good fucking animal. This is the hamster. <laughs> well, it has one middle giraffe leg. Like, hind leg. Uh, sorry, zebra. That's a zebra. The, the, the tail is the giraffe, but, like, why does it only have one giraffe, uh, zebra? Like, I'm fine. I'm just, hang on, just having a stroke. Oh. No, I'm fine. Oh. Uh, let's make one more, and then I'll try to fight them, or, I don't know, do something with them, because it's cool to make them, but you don't get a lot of... You don't get, like, a lot of options. Mammoth. We can, we can do Mammoth with, um, like, a boar, uh, horse, um... Penguin face. <laughs> uh, and a unicorn tail. Mambo. What is that? Bingo! Bingo! Chat, what is this? Why? What does that say, chat? Guze Hiru. Is this okay? Is, now, is that, is that a slur? If it's not, then we're good. It is now. Fuck. Does it mean anything? Who's a hero? No, it doesn't. It could be someone's name. It's gibberish. Who's a hero? Who's a hero? It means this affront to God. Oh, yeah. It could be short for Accidental Noon. Man, what a great song title that is. It means as much as Spaguglio in Italian-American.
pet George pet. children will be very happy. I don't understand. I just sold the puppet. I thought maybe I'd be able to see it. Do something. I wanted to do something. Zero puppet. <laughs> Guzero is gone, chat. Go to the zoo? I, I I don't know what that is. Where that is, rather. Oh my god. They wow, they really did not know how to work with the textures, did they? Oof. See Daggerfall was possible on the PS1. I feel like we're in Stanley Pubrick, a 104 Space Odyssey. Jesus. What's that? How do you exit this? How do you exit this? No! No, select doesn't work. None of the buttons work. Start does this! Oh. Chat, I'm gonna look. Oh, that's sleep. This is so fucking weird. It, you might be able to deposit puppets into that area. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this is the zoo? We'll never be able to see Guzehiro move around free and wild. Paradise Zoo. Oh. Oh wait, no, this is good. Wait, which one is this? What does this say, chat? Zupaze. Zupaze. But, chat, this game is fucking horse shit. They just took my fucking animals, and- and they're gone now. Go back in. We have no puppets at the moment. Ah, <sighs> poor goes a hero. They give you more money to make more. Yeah, I mean... Yeah.
No, that is a good animal. Oh, it's beautiful, chat. I love it. All right. What am I naming this animal? Fernando? No, what what is the name? Yep, Yalfa. Yafanoni. Yafanoni? That's wow, that sounds like Yafanoni. Sounds Italian almost. I don't like that middle piece it has, chat. I, I really don't know if I like that middle piece. This hog has a hog. It's an accidental hog. Not unlike the accidental noon. I'm sure there's a haiku in there somewhere. It's just, it's an artistic hog. I mean, I'm gonna look around. What, any, um... Is there anything else I can do in this game with my animals? Cinema. Good movie. Place puppet. I mean, it's something. The hog will shrink there. It's a little cold, but it'll be good. Uh, it's again, it's something. Hoglet. Doesn't like any of this stuff. What do you eat? Anything? I don't think this creature likes its life very much. Do you move? Like, what do you do? Do something. I mean, yes, clearly existence is pain. I'm going to make, like, two more and bring them there, chat. I'm going to bring them there. I just want to see if we can make something, like, maybe friends.
All right, it's not bear, it's... Okay, what, chat, what, what am I typing here? One wami. One wami. Kill me! Please! Kill me! Come on! Come on! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really tempting fate with these names. This is Hine Koyo. Hine Koyo. Awful. What a, what a pathetic creature this is. Oh my god. We could do one more. One more. Because after this, I'm done with this game. And we're we're going to move on. There's only, I think there's only one more game in this pack. Alright, giraffe. With a z a unicorn head. Wait, can I place the un- Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Can you place the head elsewhere? Maybe like on the on the butt? You can! You can! Why can you? Oh my god. What's chat? What does this say? Ushishi. Hang on. It's Ushishi Shishiri. Ushishi Shishiri. Ushi shi shi shiri. Ushi is actually cow. Shiri means ass. Well, I mean, it's close enough. That vaguely means cow ass. But how does this thing even live? How is it going to live? I wonder how many you can place in one area. Looks like it's just two. I don't know if they'll interact in any way, but... It kind of reminds me of Pokemon a little bit. Like the various boxes that you have for them. Just in this, like, most vague basic way possible. Are they supposed to move?
They're trying. Why do I hear the heavy going nom 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 nom? This does sound a little Final Fantasy VIII-ish. The music is like the best part of this game. They don't do anything, chat. They're, they're really... They're really awful. Does anyone know if there's anything else you can do with these animals? Click on them? I couldn't. You made them. No, they should be able to walk around and stuff, no? When I pulled them from their rotten womb, I knew that these animals would be as good as any other animal on Earth, Douglas. It won't stop moving. Almost the Final Fantasy prelude. These, they're just sad. The animals are just, like, really sad. Something's wrong with the controls here. I just, feel, I just feel bad for it. Something broke. Release them? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just, again, I feel bad for them. Uh, I wish there was a way to make them fight each other. Vinny, you picked auto drive. Oh, that explains it. They're supposed to move. Uh, oh, okay. According to a YouTube video, they are supposed to move. Maybe these creatures are so fucking broken, they just don't move. Well, some of them do. I, in this video, there's a couple that move, and there's a couple that don't. And the ones that don't usually have, like, horses for asses. I think you actually need to make them, like, make sense. Otherwise, they just don't move. What an insane fucking video game this is. Suzuki... Bakuhatsu is next. Puzzle game where you disarm bombs and everyday objects. Douglas, I've decided to experiment. Gee, Mr. Ding, how? I'm combining animals, Douglas, to make the ultimate predator. Why, Mr. Dink? Douglas, you wouldn't understand what power does to a man. Yeah, Mr. Dink, what happened to your wife? Well, Douglas, I'm now Mr. Ink. She's part of the animals now, Douglas. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, Suzuki Bakuhatsu, and it seems to, uh, to be real human beings. I don't know. What's going what the fuck? Enix has something to do with this?
Did it say Dengar? It didn't say Dengar. Did it? Oh, man. Pigma Dengar. Uh, good morning. Oh? Rest in peace. Are you alive? Oh, she's got like Oppenheimer dreams. Why, why random effects, though? Yes. Okay. Okay. This is kind of interesting. So you have some tools that you can fuck around with, um, to, to examine. I can't understand what I'm reading here, but, you know. Uh, I, uh, what's going what? I want to cut the wires. What, it won't let me cut the wires, chat. I'm trying to... Chat, I, I don't understand what, what it's, things are not working. Oh, now that now I can do something here. Oh, I took too long. I mean, it said danger on the red one. Okay. Someone said, Vinny, you played this exactly one year ago. I don't know if they're lying. That's the worst part. I have no idea. I don't think I played this one. I feel like I might have remembered this one. This one's like a little too unique for me not to remember it. Like, I don't remember Poochie Carrot. Okay. All right, we're doing some some pogo sticks and 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 we're okay. Hello there, hello there. <laughs> What's going on? I feel like we're. Uh, is this a? date now we, we were doing like some google maps 
And now we're doing a pogo stick date. Then you actually did play this a year ago. I, send me the uh, send me the proof. Vinny, you played this a year in the future. Well, that's more believable. So after all that, she just found another bomb, I think. Wait, what? Vinny, you're not even playing this right now. I mean, no, you're right. I'm not. Gun? Is that a Walther? It's like a PPK or something. What, what the fuck is- what is going on?! Okay. What the? What the? No? See, now that seems to be useful advice. That I am incapable of understanding, so I have to just hope for the best. Oh. Is that usually what's in these things? It's, it's a bomb gun. I think this is a really interesting concept for a video game. Now, if I could read the things it was trying to tell me, I might be a little bit better at it, but, um... Just for some, like, quirky... Yes, it's quirked up, chat. It's just a quirked up... game... on the PlayStation here. Why does it have a little, little scissors device? Blue is bad. Yeah, we can't have the scissors cut that. Open the case. Screws you move the scissors back and forth. Oh, I see, I see, I see. God, there's just the anxiety noises are absolutely insane in this game. You can even control which directions you move the screws. I mean... I think it's pretty clear which one we have to cut here. for Denger. Golden Eye! We did it, chat. There is one more game. There is one more game. 
Cool game, though. This one was actually really good. This one is called Toma Runner versus Learc and Seal. Learc and Seal. Racing party game starring the Japanese rock band Lark and Seal. <laughs> so there's a mini game mode, there's a, a campaign mode, and, and a free race mode. So we could check this out for like five minutes, whatever. Damn. Look at these fellows. Tetsu. Tetsuo! I'll go for Ken because he's on the guitar. Oh my god, it's so loud! Holy shit! And I have a limiter on too, it's still this loud. I'm assuming this is their music and I'm going to get claimed for playing it. If anything, Johnny can replace this with, um, what can Johnny replace this with? I like big butts and I cannot lie, no. Oh, these are some really tight turns. Sonic R music. Well, this sounds like it might be a MIDI version, like without the vocals. Maybe this won't get claimed. I don't know if there are vocals. Maybe, yeah, they're supposed to be, right? Um. Oh, okay. You can actually run faster. Did you see what I did to that robot? That robot has to feel like absolute garbage right now, if it could feel at all. We don't know what the pain of the robot is like, but it must be massive. And that's the be the birth of a supervillain. That's that's when the machines decided to kill us. I mean, it's... the game is kind of fine, but, uh, not... Not the most fun character at racing game I've played. Like, CTR is a lot better. Even fucking, uh, what's that game on the PS1 where you are at animals and you run around? Chocobo was better than this. Um, Running Wild. Running Wild is the one, yeah. Wait, are those, like, dead soldiers in the ground? Try in here, chat. I'm trying. Skeletons, and then there's like helmets. This guy's always smoking a cigarette. Oh well. So I think that'll be the end of that segment. Duck Station, amazing. So that is weird and quirky ps1 games from melange gel thank you for submitting these always down for weirder games on systems from many years ago 
especially if um, they are combined into a pack as good as this one. I thought it was really interesting.